I'm in the Karoo of Southern Africa. And a lot of people think that this is just stone and dust, but it's not. It's alive with life, but it's a miniature world and you have to look closely to find it and they're camouflaged. And here's a very good example of that. This is Creshla columnaris. And if we look closer at the plant, you'll see that the leaves are tightly packed. The plants close to the ground, squat to the ground. Now, there's a few reasons why the leaves are so tightly packed. First, it reduces water loss during the heat of summer. But secondly, it creates this very odd shape, not very plant-like. And that shape reminds me of antelope dung. And that's not very appetizing. So if a herbivore would walk past you, it would rather go for the scrumptious daisy behind me for its breakfast than this crashula, which you probably won't even see. Now, here's a little baby next door. And it's surrounded by animal dung, dusty dung, lichen, stone and sand. And the coloring and texture is all exactly the same. And it's completely camouflaged and hidden. Now these crashlers also flower is now in spring and they shoot out these cones of white flowers at the top. Now the one sad thing is that after they flower, which is heavily scented and usually pollinated by moths, they die and then the seed will have to be the next generation. But that's just one example of so many of the weird and wacky plants that the deserts of Southern Africa provide us.